left off Reish Lamed Gimel, the Maral. Reish Lamed Gimel, second column, third paragraph in the middle. He explained, maybe, we said we had to bring the posuk of Levois Chain and Ateres Tiferes Roshecho to indicate that Torah gives a person Olam Abo. But how do you know Arichas Yomim? Right? Maybe for Arichas Yomim, Torah is not enough. You need Masim, Mitzvahs, and Masim Tovim. Lefichov, maybe Akos Orech Yomim Biyamino. Ubesmol Oshiv Chovo, it's right in the middle of the third paragraph. Masha Oma Orech Yomim Yevsha Lefarish Rak Olam Abo. A person can live a thousand years or whatever he lives. It's still passing. It's a fleeting moment. So we speak what is it means the world to come, it doesn't mean this world. Vod ki pirush hakosim shom orech yomim biyamino, small oshi v'chovod, al derech shom l'chachomim, l'maiminim bo orech yomim, iko, kol shom shosh v'chovod iko. A person who does a mitzvah l'shmo, maimini means like you do something with your right hand. You do it with ability, you do it with control. So if he merits olam abo, which is, which is, the eterni- which is eternity, he shouldn't merit Oshav Chobot material. The Masmilim Bo Oshav Chobot Ika Arichos Yom Lecho. But a person does the Mitzvah Shlolishma, he has relevance to the material, but he has no relevance to the Arichos Yomim. The Tamadover explaining it. Kimisha Osig Betor Lishma Roy Shilu Arichos Yom Olam Abo. Person learns Torah Lishma, he deserves to have. Relevance to Arichas Yom and Olam Abo. Shu Ose Lishmo Shat Torah Shat Torah Hiv Malab Lamalim in Olam Hazer Hagashmi. She Torah Sichlus. When you do something purely for the sake of the Torah, that means what is your connection to Torah? It's not with a self-interest, right? Self-interest means you're you're what you're material, you're finite. So it's for the t- sake of the Torah itself. So the Torah itself is not related to this world. Ulafich Roi Shielo Madrega Olam Abo Shu Orich Yomim. But a person has a mitzvah shlo lishma. Learn imos b'torah liskabi b'torah only for the sake to be glorified through the Torah. O shteya elov kordem lechol, or using it as the kordem as the spade to dig, only to earn a, a livelihood. They may know shem olam hazeh. So how are we utilizing the Torah? Utilizing it as a physical entity. So if you use Torah as a physical entity, so what if you, 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 you put it in a, in a physical context? But to acquire a share of the world to come, since his connection is not selfless, it's, it's connected to him. But the post would says, Orech Yomim, right? Orech Yomim doesn't mean in this world, because whatever this world is, it's something which is finite, so that's not considered Orech Yomim. Like a person says, you know, you know what I'm worth? I'm worth a million dollars. It's a lot of money. Yeah, it's a lot of money if, if, you, if, if you don't know what more is. But if you know people have... 10,000 times as you have, much as you have, you know, so it's, it's, it's not considered anything. Arichas so, Yomim. You know, in the time of the Ramo, people, the, the lifespan was maximum 50 years old. Nobody lived longer than 50. Time of the Ramo. Mm-hmm. The average lifespan, maybe even less. Ramo himself passed away, he was 40 years old. The Ramo. It was lifespan, so the person lived till 70. That's, that's Arichas Yomim. Right? Okay? So everything's relative to what you're dealing with. So, Arichas Yom, we see Hashem says, Arichas Yom can't mean in the physical world. It has to mean beyond that. Beyond. Olam Shekula Oruch, to be continued. Today has nothing to do with Lushma. Why are you studying? 
Are you studying for the mitzvah? Because I enjoy studying. Why? Why are you doing it? It's because Hashem wants I should study. If I do it because Hashem wants me to do it, that's, that's, that's unrelated to me. You don't have to, if your person, that's always his mindset. You don't have to think it. It's better to think it for a moment. But even if you don't think it, but as long as it's not the other reason. No, for mitzvahs also you have a rikas yomim. But the question, the Torah without it. Does the Torah itself, is that the main thing that gives it? I mean, factually, factually. The Gemara says that the person is not connected to the Torah, he doesn't, he doesn't get up to Chiyas HaMesim. Chiyas HaMesim is, is the real Olam Abba. Okay, so the Gemara says explicitly, the person doesn't have Torah, or he's not a Mazik Torah, he d- he does, he's not resurrected. So what does that mean? That means, what's the Arichas Yomim? The ultimate Arichas Yom means forever, forever. No, no, he's not saying that. He's not saying, no, no, he's not saying that. He said you would think maybe even, oh, you need everything together. But Torah itself would not be enough to give you the Arich He says, no, it's not the case. Torah itself. No, th- they said that the Gemara says. That's Oshiv Echovot. That's, that's the Gemara. Mitzvah Lishmo without, what's his name, without Torah. No, you won't have Arich Yom either. You don't. Alan, no stick today. The stick, you came. You didn't come with it today. Okay. Somebody said, you know, somebody's walking around with a weapon in his neighborhood. They called the police. He said, okay, <laughs> leaving it home. Some people walk down with a golf club down the street. You know, some of these people. Okay.